Hey, what's going on, man? This is Big Rhyme here with FreeBigRhymeBeats.com. I got Battery 3. Um, I had a question where if I put a sample on a pad, how do I keep, you know, let's say if I press the sample one, press the pad one time and the sample play, if I press the pad again, how do I get it to go back all the way back to the beginning of the sample, um, which I'm going to show you that right now. I am put this up on here. Alright, so like right now, if I hit it two times, it's gonna play the sample two different times. Where the way I'm about to set it up, if I hit it twice, it'll take it back to the beginning and not play two different samples. What you'll have to do is go to setup. See it says max voice is 32. That means I can hit this 30. 32 times is going to play it 32 different times. Um, if you take a wild guess, if you bring it down to one, it would only play it one sample at a time, which will make it replay it. There you got it. You basically make the max voice to one reason being because um, it's like a synthesizer. You know, when you get synthesizers that have like 16 voices, that means you can press down 16 different keys at a time. But if you bring it down to one, then that means it's mono. So basically that's what you're doing. You're making that pad mono to where it's only going to play one note or one sound at a time. All right, um, there is another method you could do it. Let's just say you don't want to do that, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but let's bring it back to 32. We're going to talk about um, let's talk about A H D S R, which most um software samplers synthesizers they have asdr a is for attack s sustain d delay and r release um let's turn that on i want you to click right there and you'll see how it's shaping the sound right here you get visual feedback um attack is basically how the sound starts so all the way to zero attack would be right away but if I turn the attack up you see almost like a gradual it didn't start off loud start off quiet use is good for strings like if you take a sound you can make a string um, sounds that way is one way of shaping it um, decay is just basically if you just tap the key how long is it going to play on? Sustain means that if you hold down the key, how long it will sustain. Release would be if you, it's almost like decay in a way, but you can also have it set up where you can hold, hold, hold down the key, which would be the sustain. And then when you let go of the key, that's the release. So you can have a short. Um, sustain or short decay but a long release and example of that would be see how they wrote duh. that was real duh. real short it was short decay short release but the, the release was long so that's just the ways you could do it. Like if you wanted to do, you know, to go back to the sample, you could just have a short release and a long sustain. So, and I still have 32 voices, but I have um, short decay, short release, long sustain. That means I can hold down the key and let it play as long as I want to, as long as I'm holding down that key. So that's how you would do that. That's two different ways of doing it. 
Um, it's all my matter of preference um, on how to do that. All right. Make sure you check me out. Free Big Grind Beats. I'm have articles and other videos on there too. All right. Peace.